The entry level version of the Orange Crush won this test last year. And this Pro model neatly bridges the gap up to the top of the line RS. Has Orange maintained the Crush's test winning pedigree? Well, it's certainly trying. The head angle has been slackened to 65 degrees and the fork travel has been up to 150 mil. Adding a KS dropper post has further enhanced the spec and brought the bike in line with modern expectations. Sizing on the Crush is spot on. With options from small all the way up to extra large, there's quite a bit of leeway for riders looking for the perfect fit. Orange has gone for the latest Fox 34 Performance Series fork up front. With an identical chassis to its premium counterparts and a clever new grip damper cartridge, it boasts premium performance at a lower price point. There are three main levels of compression adjustment and you can toggle between them quickly on the fly. It's a very consistent fork for the money with damping characteristics that are almost as impressive as the top of the range fit units. That said, in terms of grip, comfort and control, it's not a night and day step up in performance over the RockShox Yari. Fox forks don't come cheap and Orange has been careful elsewhere to offset that extra cost. As such, the Crush gets Shimano's basic Dior brakes. These have always been a favourite of ours on lower cost builds because they have great modulation and ample stopping power. We weren't as impressed with the KS seat post however. It was slow to return to full extension and we had to lower the post in the frame to get the saddle fully out of the way on steep descents. Just as it did last year, the Crush's rear end immediately impressed us with its forgiveness. Whether we were climbing in the saddle or blasting down a descent, the frame clearly exhibited a level of damping that took the edge off the worst bumps. This ability to fill in the holes allowed us to really attack the roughest sections of trail. The Crush Pro bends the rules when it comes to hardtails. With its extraordinarily well damped frame and generous sizing, it encourages you to stay off the brakes and charge hard. However, it's not quite as capable or composed as Ragley's Blue Pig on the most technically demanding trails. Factor in the lacklustre performance of the drop post and the fact that it commands a premium over the Ragley and it opens the door to its closest rival in this category. Still, with a slightly slacker head angle and those few creases in the specification ironed out, the Crush would be unbeatable. 